In this video, we will install the programming language Julia with Jupyter Notebook on your computer. So just write Julia in Chrome and you should see this link, download Julia. Go on this page, that's the julialong.org webpage, and you will see that you have all the current stable releases there. So choose your operating system, for me it's gonna be Windows, and when you click on the link, the file will start to download. You can see it here, should be more or less this name, the version might change when you will do this, this download yourself. So I already have the file, so I can go directly to the file. And when you open it, you see this. You can just press next on everything. The install is very easy, there's almost nothing to do. Uh, it'll take a short while to install, so I'll come back with you when it's done. And it's already done. So you can press run Julia because we want to install Jupyter Notebook now. So to do this, what you have to do here is to just say using package, PKG, PKG, which means you want to work with packages, and then you do pkg.add, and you'll write between brackets and between quotation mark I Julia, like I Python for the Jupyter Notebook, so it's the same. Once you do that, it starts installing, so you'll see different line, it's downloading everything it needs. So I'll just pause here, it takes more or less one minute, and then you'll see another line. We're done, so now more or less one minute after we had this line that started to appear, added registry, resolving all those packages, and it keeps downloading things. It's very similar to Anaconda in a way, or PIP, and then it's building everything you need, and it's soon gonna be over. So you should have the same on your computer. If it takes more time, it's normal. When it says Julia, you're done. So you'll just open Jupyter Notebook like you would have done for Python and Anaconda, just by Jupyter Lab, and Jupyter is opening. Now you'll see the difference is you don't have just Python now, you also have Julia. Before we had only Python. So click on Julia and you'll open a Jupyter Notebook with Julia and not with Python. So I'll click on it. And here you can see on the top right corner it says Julia. We still have the option to, to switch back to Python, but if we want to work with Julia, we'll just pick this one and it's done. It's installed and you have it on Jupyter Notebook. So I'll zoom in and we can do some tests, like for instance one, and you see it's starting, everything looks the same as with Jupyter Notebook and Python. It took some time. Now, it's the first time only. If I do it again, you see it's, up, it's appearing right away. I can keep playing one plus one, uh, it gives me two, one superior to one, give me false. If I want to print something, I need to do print ln and then the bracket. I need to add ln compared to Python. So that's it. You got Julia installed on your computer. You got Jupyter Notebook to use it. You're ready to go.